guys, welcome to episode number 38. So good to see all of you today, and welcome to another video short. So here we go. I am going to be shaving today with this razor. This is the Tampa uh, Shave Kits a Tampa Edition Razor by Tampa Shave Company. I'll be using C.O. Bigelow's Premium Shave Cream. Oh, I'm interested to see what happens with this. I like this. It's got a nice menthol, cool and refreshing. All right, and then of course, I'm gonna finish it off with an aftershade, and today's selection is the Panade Clubbit. Very good. All right, you know what's going on. Here we go. We're gonna go and get our beginning by the soaping. So please join me for the soaping. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna set the razor off the edge of the screen here. And I'm also gonna be using my lovely Parasso brush here. I love my Parasso brush. It's a nice Boris hair brush. Beautiful brush indeed. Okay, and we're gonna add our shaving cream here. Hope you guys are all doing good today. Sorry the last the last one, and this one is a short, but I'm trying to adjust things so they're a little bit easier on the weekend for me, because I work all day long, both Saturday and Sunday. It's a bit of a trial. Anyway, there we go, C.O. Bigelow's shaving cream. Let's give this a whip up now. I've got my uh, boar's hair brush ready to go. Here's the amount that I have in my bowl. And let's whip it up, shall we? Oh, it's looking good already. This stuff does whip very good. And let's see how we're doing for thickness here. Yes, it's pretty good. I think we're going to add a tiny bit of water, though. My feeling is it's a little bit on the dry side. So let's tap down some of this lather and get that down in the cup a little better all right and we're nearly there wow <laughs> yes yeah, it's just amazing you add a little bit of water to this stuff and it simply explodes out of the bowl I mean, it's just really, look at this, look at that. Oh my goodness sakes alive. I could probably shave myself and a friend with all of this. Well, I don't have a friend I'm shaving with it, so I guess I'll use it for me. <laughs> all right, you get to stare at the lovely, 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 beautiful brush full of creamy lather, and I'm going to read from God's word like usual. And today's selection is coming from 2nd John. 2nd John only has one chapter. We're going to go to verse 7, which is probably the most important statement based in this whole text. It says, For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Such a one is the deceiver, and the Antichrist. Now, that was just verse 7 of 2nd John. Very good. All right, you guys, let's go back upstairs for the shave and devotion. My goodness sakes alive, do you realize that is a bright handle? Ooh, is that a bright handle? It reflects light like crazy. All right time for the towel. It's time to do the towel once again. All right, let's see if I can actually get it without covering half of my head this time. <laughs> Have to admit, yesterday's was pretty funny. Hmm. All right, and now it's time to present the towel. Beautiful. 
I'm loving it. All right, we got our towel done, and now let's lather it up. You know, there's are all there's all kinds of faiths out there, and all kinds of teaching about who and what Jesus is. But we can't deny what this word from God is telling us. The fact, the truth, that Jesus did come in the flesh. Now it just, fathom, it just completely frustrates me when a faith would actually, or a person would actually try to say he was, he never, he was never here. I mean, what good would that do our faith if he was never here? Because, let's face it, if he never came, then of course, we, he would have never gone to the cross. And if he would have never gone to the cross, we would still be in our sins and transgressions, unable to be saved at all. It would be an impossibility. Ah, but Jesus did come in the flesh. That's the whole point of Christmas, isn't it? We celebrate the coming of our Lord as a babe. The babe of Bethlehem. Okay, it's not Christmas anymore. But you're getting my point here. Alright, here we go. Oh, I better clean myself up a little bit first. Let's do that. Hmm. So, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to heat my razor up in the water. And you will get to see one pass of my shave. Here we go. Boy, this soap is refreshing. If you like menthol, this is a way to go. I mean, it has a nice cooling effect. Not too cool, but mind you, it doesn't feel like it's burning or anything like that. But it sure feels good. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and instead of you not seeing the third, second and third pass, you're going to see it. Fast forward though. How's that? That's a good way to do it. All right. First pass is complete. On your mark, get set. Go! Wow, and there we go. Isn't that beautiful? All right. I make a mess of myself some days, you know. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Well, it's time for the Penal Clubman. And I wanted to let you know, you know, the person who is going around trying to say that Christ never came? I'm sorry, they're goners. And they're simply goners, simply because they reject the very reason, the very reason and the crux of our entire existence as Christians. As the writer puts it, you know, <laughs> as he puts it, they become like the Antichrist, all right? An Antichrist of types. Not in, the, not in the narrow sense of the word, but in the wider sense of the word. <sighs> oh, 
It smells good. All right, you guys, that does it. By the way, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, you might as well subscribe. And please take time to rate and to comment. I would love to have more comments from you. All right, you guys, thank you for being with me. Oh, and before I go, you see that? Tomorrow, that's coming off. Yeah, I let it go for a long. And it's starting to feel like sandpaper. Just a little bit. So, it's time to go. <laughs> Hopefully you'll join me for that. Alright you guys, may the Lord bless you. And may he give you Nick Free and Baby Butt Smooth Shaves. Have a great day everyone. Bye.